This is a really cool way to upcycle a bag and and we're gonna make a wreath, but we're gonna start right now with a plastic bag, which I've actually taken a clip and put the clip on top. And then all you do is cut it into three strips. So I've actually already cut this. I just cut it up and just, but don't cut all the way to the top. Now I'm gonna put this weight that I have, um, actually the other way, right on top here. And I'm going to just braid this plastic bag to have the three sections and I'm just going to keep braiding. Now the size of the paper bag that you choose is going to make a difference regarding how big um, your wreath is going to be. So I'm going to just take this apart here, move this over and pull this one that I've already finished um, and I've just tied a little um, piece of pipe cleaner there. And then I'm just gonna bring it around here and cut a piece of Bodabra bow wire and just kind of scrunch everything together and just wrap the bow wire around and just twist it. And I'm not really too worried about how this all looks cause it's gonna all get covered. So what I'm doing next is we're gonna basically recycle some denim. And the way that I cut just to save time, I'm not worried about the fraying because I'm gonna clean it up at the end, but just to save time, a great way, all you're doing is just ripping your denim into strips. And this fabric that I have, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. And one of my friends taught me that if you take some of the really cheap clothing, you can rip it all up, that you buy at like a flea market or something, or old clothes that you um, haven't used, so that you're not, rather than throwing them away. So all I'm gonna do is tie a knot here. And I'm gonna continue this all the way, and I'm gonna alternate my denim and my fabric. And I'm just gonna keep, tying this and this makes just it's great you can use it any time of year depending on the color of fabric that you're using um, and just kind of push everything together and I'll do one more here and basically keep going so this one I've I've gotten, you can see, we still have a little bit more to do, but rather than making you watch me do the whole thing, now what I'm gonna do is just kind of go and clean everything up. So I'll just kind of dovetail the ends here, dovetail this, whoops, dovetail the other way. But, it, and depending on how much fray you want, um, this one, we'll just kind of cut that off here. But I love the frayed look. So we just continue until you're finished going all the way around your wreath. Then what you do is I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna make a bow. Um, and we're just, all we're doing is taking strips of fabric because the whole thing we wanna have kind of a frayed look about it. So because this one I'm doing as a patriotic wreath that could be used on Flag Day or Patriots Day or um, 4th of July, I'm just going to take the silver, put that down in here, whoops, and I'm just using my mini Bodabra. If you wanted to make it bigger, you could also use your um, big Bodabra and just lay this down in here and whoops, and then take my little red and alternate that and there, just alternate with my red here. And then all I'm going to do is Take my wire, pull this through the slip knot, pull it really tight, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and just tie a knot. And then what I do here is I'm just going to tie this on with my Bodabra bow wire onto my wreath. And just clip the ends there. And then to finish it off here, I'm just gonna grab my glue gun and I'm gonna take a little star and just put a little glue there. 
and glue my star on. And then when you're got when you've got all of your um, little stars done here, you have this really pretty wreath. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please like Bodabra on Facebook.